So the title of the project, I'm going to just read it out, is Framework for Experiments for Online and Engineering Classes. So the idea behind this project, or the project is about, is if you look at current online classes, there are a lot of online classes available for non-engineering. And the few engineering classes that you have online are typically oriented where the lab component is missing. So the project is about trying to bring in that lab component for the students so that they can still take an online class, be able to perform some of these experiments at home with easy to get hardware or hardware that we would probably end up providing. Now, have other people done this? There's a slight amount of things people have done wherein they set up things as a lab and then everything is done remote controlled like you're sitting across the internet. But that does not give you the same experience of touch and feel which our innovation or our idea will probably provide and that's kind of where we're trying to fill the gap. The innovation in this project is essentially traditionally most engineering classes have labs and the labs are generally done in let's say high cost. And one of the reasons why we are not able to offer many engineering online classes is the lack of that. And so what we thought about was with the ubiquitous nature of how hardware like smartphones and many other devices with sensors are available. So what we thought about was how can we use this to bring the lab experience for students much more easily. And so the whole innovation idea here is to build in, use these easily available sensors that are on these uh, platforms like smartphones, uh, tablets like iPad, and Windows Surface, and so on and so forth, and integrate them with more simple hardware that you have around your house. So initially we decided to take what's called system dynamics, and for that we need things like a small cart, so we could use a hot wheel car that would give me some sort of frictionless platform, elastic bands. So there are experiments that we can design with hardware that's around in your house that we could buy in the local hardware store. And so the idea is to build things around that. So we initially we want to come up with some clear experiments that would be built around this. And then once we have this rolling and try it out with students, get their feedback and then do some evaluation, we could then expand it to more such features that are available. In terms of learning, again, so the main idea is, number one, it lets us now offer online classes for students that couldn't have gotten it otherwise. So initially, it makes experiments now remote. So instead of saying, bring the students to the lab, we kind of take the approach of, take the lab to the students. Now I can either provide some of these hardware for students, but the ones I mentioned, as you probably realized, are very easily available for most people. You can pick it around your house. And so first thing is they learn to pick things around their house. Second, it's very easily set up by them on their own. And then finally, it brings in a lot of the assumptions that we in engineering make. We make so many assumptions which we kind of use to derive the equations, but we also create labs that are so well tuned that all these things fall in place exactly. But by doing this, suddenly the student realizes how much assumptions we make. Things don't necessarily work 100%, but they're very close. And in engineering, the approximation idea, the assumptions idea. So all of this come home right away with these experiments. And I think the student learning suddenly gets a lot more enhanced. In addition, it also brings in a dialogue between students, dialogue between student and faculty to how engineering things are done. I know many people think engineers are very numerical, are very accurate, are very precise. I'm sorry to say, but we are actually exactly the opposite. We assume like crazy, we approximate like crazy, and with all of this, we still manage to get things to work as long as things work around our assumptions, around our approximation. And some of those messages can be brought to the students' home by doing this.